What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list. Let's start with a 1997 Pace Vision something or other. Pace, Pace Error. Pace Error? Pace Arrow? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's big, way bigger than the one I had before, and it's 1300 bucks right now, and it's a pure sale. Family Motor Coach Association. It's got the dual wheels back here. Yeah, she's a big one. Vision Pace Arrow. It's listed as a non-runner, but you guys know me, non-runner doesn't scare me one bit because the last motorhome we bought out here and the first one we ever bought on the channel, uh, first one I've ever bought for that matter, it was also a non-runner and you know, it sometimes, sometimes, and I'm sure this is probably fuel injected, I would imagine. Um, probably got like a GM 454 or something under the hood. I have no idea, but just guessing. There's a lot of times that it just takes a little while for the fuel system to catch up, man. There, <laughs> there's a long way from a fuel tank way back there up to where the engine sets under here. So sometimes you just gotta be patient and give them a while. And if these things don't fire right up, uh, these people tend to just let them, they, they just put them, they put them out for sale. Is that mouse crap? Am I put my hands on mouse crap? I don't know. Is that mouse crap? I think that's mouse crap. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is full of mouse poop. Uh, okay, sure. That's, uh, that's nice. That's just what I wanted to do this morning. There's a battery right there. There's usually little holders that hold these up. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing it. So what I'm gonna do, it seems like that's only got one battery. That can't be right. What's the date code on that? 2015? No way. 2018. Jeez, not much better. All right, well, let me go grab a booster pack and uh, let's get some power to her. All right, we got the booster pack in there. question is, is can I get the key in it before the booster pack dies that did nothing that did nothing at all ah look down okay well we got lots of buttons lots of things happening in here but what we don't have is any ignition at all so who knows maybe Boy, maybe just maybe this one doesn't run. Um, there's some fuse work that's been going on under there. <sighs> Let's see if we got a battery on the other side. Surely there's not a battery on both sides. But this looks just like the battery tray from over there. Ah, there is. Okay, this is going to be a little more fun then, isn't it? Let me go grab my other booster pack and let's hook up two of them. All right, we got one booster pack on this side. We're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna try to kick this booster pack on over here. Seems very bizarre that they put one under each corner. Uh, let's see if he'll turn on by itself. Uh, maybe. Yeah, sounds like it's kicked on, so. All right. If it's not doing anything now, then it's not going to. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got lights. Ah, oh, not quite enough juice. Let me turn all this stuff off. There it is. There it is. I told you. I told you to run. Come on, girl. Oh, I'm bidding on this. <laughs> it's a Ford. She sure is trying. You got a fan over there that's running. Let me turn that off. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. <laughs> there it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that. 60,000 miles on the odometer.
Will she idle? Yes, she will. Yes, she will. Yeah, I'm buying this. That's that's a wrap. That's a, you can hang it up, guys. Don't even bother looking to see if this is for sale because it's not. I I promise you. I got the e-brake set too. Um, does this have a working window over here? I'm guessing. No. What is this driver window? Mirror heat. Mirror adjust. What a weird keypad. Oh. Okay, so somebody replaced that with a weird switch. You've got these power gears, raise coach, on, off, retract jacks, motor hot, low voltage. Okay. All right, well, we're gonna let this thing run. I've got the e-brake set, so hopefully she doesn't take off down the road. We got a, uh, a backup camera there with a big old TV screen. Would you look at that? This is cool. I hadn't even looked at the interior yet, so. Uh, hold on. <laughs> like I said, I hadn't even looked at the interior yet. So, you know, yeah, she's a, she's not as nice as the other one. That's for, yeah, that's for sure. She's definitely not nearly as nice. There's been mice all up in this thing. Who knows if there still are. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mice have been having a field day in here, haven't they? You got this floor that somebody cut out and... Then they started putting these weird tiles down here, but then they didn't finish any of that, and that's different. But you got a nice little dinette there. French fries, McDonald's. This stuff been here probably 10 years. Looks brand new. Of course, there's no water pressure. No surprise there. Stove. Hopefully they got all the propane and stuff turned off on this. That would, that would be nice. Uh... Anyway, microwave. None of that is working. Ah, here's your main battery. Is good. Black tank is empty. Fresh water is empty. LP, so your propane is empty. This turns on your water pressure, I guess, or water heater. There's your water pump. Okay. Cool, what do we got over here? Some storage compartments. Lots of mouse poop, good lord have mercy. Lots of mouse poop, there's some garbage. What is this, this is probably like a combination washer and dryer right here. Have you ever seen these? These are super cool. Yeah, right here, water temperature and dryer. And if you see it's made in Italy. These are very common to cross the pond there, guys. It's small, there's not a lot of room for sure, but uh, yeah, still, well, if you can get it to, if you can get it to close, that is. It's very small. Okay, well, anyway, up here is where you can keep your detergents. We should have lights, no lights. With the car running, we should at least have lights in this thing. Refrigerator? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see what's back here. This sucker is... Oh. <sighs> this sucker is huge. Honestly. I mean, this is a big one, guys. You got some cabinetry here with more mouse poop. It's close quarters in here, guys. I'm sorry. Like, this is... It's hard to believe that it's made this way. You could barely walk through here. Here's the bathroom. Good Lord have mercy. This is a good size bathroom. Like this thing is way bigger than the one I had. This is far bigger. Oh, power vent works. But again, none of the lights in here function. And they're all LED, which is nice. Not bad. What's it like in here? Got a nice light there. And a lot of mouse poop again, boy. The good news is I'm looking at the ceilings all throughout and I don't see. Uh, there's your bedroom. There's where a TV would have gone. There's your heater controls right here. I know it's dark, but 
Yeah, there it is. That's about as good as I can do. Ah, good Lord. It is a, it's a tight fit going through here, but man, this thing is, it's huge for what it is. It really is. Something would have gone here. I don't know what that would have been, but what is it? Um, just a little, just a little, I don't know, dinette or something. I don't know. Looks like you got lots of storage compartments up here, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe those don't do anything. She's running like a champ, though. Oh, let's give her a little rev. Revs are good. Let's try the heater. Hopefully she's got a little bit of heat. We do. We got some heat. So the heater works. We can turn that off. What else we got? Generator start. That's the fan. Dome lights. Radio. Of course, whatever was here is all missing now. But the generator, there's nothing going on there at all. No. I hear nothing from the generator. Head unit, missing. What is this, gain, brake effort? Some kind of trailer brakes, perhaps? Turn signals, windshield wipers. That all seems to work. Auxiliary start. Don't know what that is. Fog lights, docking lights. Oh, wow. Oh, that doesn't work very well. Does it go into gear? Let's fill the brakes. Brakes feel good. Water temperature gauge is down there. I don't know, there's a toggle switch next to it. Cooling fan. Okay, cooling fan. Oil pressure is good. It's got gas. Voltage looks relatively good as well. If it went into gear, I didn't feel it. Where is that e-brake? Let's let's click off that e-brake. I think it's hiding down there. Let's try this again. Yeah. She moves. Yes, she does. Forward and backwards. You know, it's, it's, oh, there's the head unit right there. There it is. Bingo. How about that? Temperature's coming up nicely. Still got a ways to go, but it's very cold out today, guys. So, yeah, this is cool. Okay. I think I'm sold on it. I still would like to know why we don't have any, uh, like house lights or anything, nothing. None of the stuff in here works. Think she'll start back up? She does, she fires right back up. Okay, we got a lot of keys. Radio's working, okay. All right, I'm gonna climb out the other side. Oh. Boy, I can't wait to get this. It is a pure sale, boys and girls, which means uh, 1300 bucks right now. We could own this, we could drive this home, uh, assuming it'll make it, and I think it will. Let's see if we can get out of here. This is much easier on my arm to climb in and out of. Let's see, we got some wires right here too. Okay, I don't know what these go to. Maybe it's some kind of, there's definitely a switch missing. Someone just pulled this out and... Yeah, let's pretend we didn't see that. I'm assuming that goes to maybe the awning out here. Ow, I just ran into another trailer. I'm guessing that goes to the awning or maybe these lights on the outside. I don't know. Anyway, comment below. Tell me what you think of the 1997... What is it called? A Pace Arrow? She does have a little... Whoa, hello. Oh, boy. Well, uh, yeah, somebody's been all up in the circuitry, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Here we go. If you heard my phone ringing, that's because I just got a call from Indiana. Uh, a tow truck driver is dropping off a 99 F350 V10 that I plan on giving away on the channel. Um, probably in the near future. He's dropping it off right now. And I was like, oh crap, I better answer that. Um, so listen, if you're not subscribed to the channel and if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you want to be able to win any of the vehicles that I'm going to be, and they're going to be completely free. I'm not charging. There's no raffle. There's no dollar tickets. There's no buying a t-shirt. It's just things of, I don't want to get into it, but things have been pretty rough in my life. Uh, this last month has been pretty bad and I decided I'm gonna flip that around man And I, I'm, I'm gonna make a positive change in some other people's lives I, It's not a million dollars But maybe I can do my part to do a little something to help some people out So if you want to be part of that you have to be subscribed to the channel first and foremost You got to be subscribed and I can tell if you're subscribed because it puts a little icon next to your name that I can see Next, you have to follow me on Instagram, all right? And links to my Instagram account right below this video, guys. Right below this video, you'll find my email address, you'll find my Instagram account. I think my Facebook page may or may not be there. But either way, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram. And when I'm ready to start doing these giveaways, you'll be one of the first to know. All right, so I had to take a break from the Copart walk around. It was time for my appointment for my shoulder. I figured I'd share the news with you since some of you seem to be really concerned with my well-being. And uh, I finally met with a, a surgeon and super cool guy, man. I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty terrified going in there because I'm afraid of surgery. And he told me, you, he said, you got two options. He said, one, we can do the surgery. He said, or I can give you a shot in your shoulder and we can see what happens. He said, if you get better, then uh, you may not have to come back for six months. He said, if it doesn't get better, we can always do the surgery when you come back. So I opted for the, uh, the shot and uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize it was going to be such a big needle. And he put it right, like it went right into my shoulder. Um, but I'll be honest with you, it didn't hurt. I never even felt it. Uh, it was just more intimidating than anything else. Um, he said over the next few days to a couple weeks, we'll see how I'm feeling. Thankfully, that means I shouldn't have to be taking pills. I might even be able to start getting some sleep in the near future. So as of right now, shoulder still hurts like hell. Um, it doesn't feel any better. And I'm pretty sure he did a steroid injection right into the muscle of my shoulder. So for those of you that were wondering and those of you worried about my health, thank you. I appreciate you very much. Um, hopefully... Over these next couple weeks, maybe it starts getting better and uh, we might be able to get back to some work. I, I don't know, but uh, I'll keep you posted. Let's get back to the walk around. This right here is something that I really want. I don't need it, but I really want it and I don't know why. Like I've already got one of these sitting in Indiana right now. I have one. It is a, I don't know, I think mine is a 98 or a 99. It's an F350. This is an F250. Mine is a Dually. And it is a V10. This is also the Triton V10. This one is a 01. And this one has 310,000 miles. This one is listed as vandalism. Although, unless I'm missing something, maybe it's vandalized on the interior? This looks great. Even the outside, this looks really, really good. Matching tires? What? Uh-oh, I'm sinking. I mean, this, <laughs> this is nice. This is really nice. I would drive this all day long. I'm not even kidding. It's sitting at 550 bucks right now. Let's take a look at the interior real quick. I'm, I might go ahead and pick this up. I might go ahead and pick this up. Oh, what do we got in here? No leather. Ow. Oh, it's got power too. It's got power. There's some kind of saran wrap stuff. There's a, uh, it smells, it smells good. The headliner is good. Are you kidding me? $550, not on my watch. Now I know being that it's the V10, <laughs> it probably gets worse gas mileage than the TRX does to be honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this thing probably gets really bad gas mileage. A little bit of a split right there on the seat, but not too bad, not too bad. What do we got here? Ghost. All right. Vandalism. Well, we'll see. We'll pop the hood. Holy crap. Wow. Someone stole the cat. 
or the cats. That's for damn sure. Good lord, that about scared the bejesus out of me. Whew! <laughs> that did. That scared me. Let's turn on the air conditioning, see if it works. We've got no check engine lights, at least not yet. I don't know how well you can see down there, but... There's no warning lights on the dash. All the gauges seem to work. It's got a quarter tank of gas, which in this thing is probably like 40 or 50 bucks. The important window works. So does that one. AC is ice cold. No kidding. 310,000 miles. We'll pop the hood. right into here. 4x4? Four four. Uh, yeah, 4 low. Oh yes, and it works. It does. 4 high? Yes. And back to 2. It all works. AC, nice and cold. Wow. So I'm assuming the vandalism on this was just the uh, just the catalytic converters. I wonder if we could get down under there. Let me. Let me. Oh, yep, right there. Sure enough. They chopped that catalytic converter right off. They total cars for that? Really? For a catalytic converter? No way. She's not leaking anything underneath either. This is one of those that somebody took exceptional care of. I mean, they took exceptional care of this thing. Plenty of room to work under the hood as well. Very easy to work on for a V10. Look at that clean coolant. Nice and bright green. I want this. I want this. I don't need it, but I want it. So I brought the booster pack. I assume we're gonna have to jump the old girl. Not at all. Just so happens, uh, I got an exhaust guy. We can take care of that. Oh, uh, this is, I think this is, nope, there we go. I thought it was locked. It's not. May need a little bit of lube, but it works. I hate this though. You know, you get somebody's bumpers, all kinds of pieces to cars, and it's not metal. It's always the crap that you can't sell and get any money out of. You know what I mean? It's, it's always the junk. It's all this junk. Who knows? You might find a you might find the catalytic converter in there. <laughs> Be able to pay somebody just to slap that sucker back on. Now she ain't got a lot of options, but I guess she really doesn't need it, man. It's got everything you need in a truck. That is loud though. Wow, that is loud. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I love it. I do, I love it. These are good looking trucks. Uh, I don't care what anybody has to say. Your opinion may vary, of course, and I respect that, but uh, honest to God, I love this generation of the Ford, man. I think these Fords are some of, not the best, not not the best, but I really think these are some of the best looking pickup trucks that Ford ever made. You get those headlights cleaned up, get a polish on this old girl, clean those tires, she would be a stunner, man. I think anyway. I love the cab lights. Beautiful truck, good tread on the tires. You can bet your backside. This is on my list. And if I can help it, I'm buying it. Last on my list, I believe this is a 2006 or seven 
Saturn Ion. This is a level one, which means it's gonna be the base 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 model. They had level one through three. It's an 07. I don't see the, the miles on it anywhere. Got some aftermarket wheels. It's a stick shift. Some aftermarket tail lights. Missing the clear cover on that one. That one's busted. She's got a, you know, a few bumps and bruises. This looks like it melted. Look at that. Wow. I had one of these back in the day, and at one time, this was the newest car I had ever owned. And of course, it was a rebuilt salvage. <laughs> this is a long time ago. Uh, I loved the little thing. I drove it back and forth between North Carolina and Oklahoma. And I'm here to tell you, it's just like this, and it had no options. None. But that damn thing would get 30-some miles a gallon, and it was just solid. I know. Reliable? GM? No. Yeah, it really was. Was a great car, and to this day, I still swear by them. I thought it was so unique. It was so cool because it was different. Some people kind of like the Aztec. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. Personally, I loved it because it's got this interesting instrument cluster dead in the center of the dash. And it was like, it's very strange because you expect it to be here, but instead it's over here and it's tilted facing the drive. Very odd, very, very bizarre. But let's see if she'll run. Oh, the clutch was sticking. No? Uh-oh. Maybe she's just dead. Let's pop the hood. That door looks like a replacement. It's got yellow writing all over it. This has got power locks. I'm fairly certain mine did not have power locks. And it's got a fancy RDS radio with CD player. I didn't have one of those either. <laughs> mine, was, mine was more basic than this. And I loved it. I loved it. It should have the little 2.2 Ecotech engine. You know, for the most part, good little motors. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, that's not what you want to see. That is not what you want to see when you open the hood. You do not ever want to see that somebody spray painted the engine blue or red or any other color for that matter. This headlight is a long time broken with tape you know, flammable, meltable tape covering up the headlight. That's real nice. This headlight looks okay. Lots of blue. She's definitely low on coolant. I don't see any coolant in it. She's got oil though. The oil looks decent. It's not the worst. We'll give her a chance. We'll give her a shot, guys. I'm trying to remember where the battery is. I keep thinking it's not, maybe it's under the trunk. Because, oh, there it is. There's a battery, uh, a place to connect the battery right there. Positive right there, and you can connect your ground anywhere over here, and it'll be fine. So let me grab the booster pack real quick. Let's, uh, let's try to fire it up. It obviously took a little bit of damage to the front. The front bumper needs to be replaced. Headlight, headlight bracket needs to be replaced as well. The hood and everything looks fine. It needs tires. And honestly, I prefer the factory wheels over these things. But uh, we'll see how she runs. Let's fire her up. Are we ready? Let's see what it does. I think she's gonna fire right up. Oh, then the question is, how's the clutch? Because the clutch does not feel right, guys. I'll be honest with you. Look at, the, see that? Oh, do you see how, it, and there's this clunking? Yeah, that clutch feels like something's very wrong with it. What? No. It will not do anything. My foot's on the clutch, the brake, and she just died. <sighs> that booster pack only gives you 60 seconds. Right, let's go check the booster pack. Uh, this is supposed to be a run and drive. As you can see, it has an S for start, and then somebody rode over it with a D. This is still on. So there's no reason. Maybe we just got a bad ground. Let's try it again. We'll try a different spot for the ground maybe. Um, what if we try here? Let's try that. 
We've got some noises now. Yes. 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 That's all it was. Boy, but that clutch pedal. That clutch. I mean, I'm not even having to put any real pressure on it. And it just. I bet it doesn't have a clutch at all. Yes, it does. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. The yeah, she's got a clutch. Let's do this. Let's put it in fifth. I knew it was going to stall. I expected that. Uh, the fact is, even in fifth gear, it pulled the car and then it stalled out. So the clutch is good. We have a we have either air in the lines, most likely a slave cylinder, a slave cylinder problem because that clutch pedal goes way too far to the floor. And when you engage the clutch, when you let off the clutch pedal, I'm telling you, you let off a quarter of an inch from that clutch pedal and she starts moving. So, um, has this got an independent slave cylinder on the outside? Nope, it does not. Slave cylinder is on the inside of the bell housing. <laughs> oh boy. Looks like you got a little bleeder valve right here though. So maybe that's something you could hook a vacuum bleeder up to. That's what I'm assuming it's for, is you hook your little vacuum bleeder up to it and suck it out. You might be able to get the clutch pedal to come back, but I would, I would almost bet that there is going to be an issue with that slave cylinder, and that's probably why it's here. Is it still worth it? I, I don't know. It all depends on what it's going to go for, but truthfully, this is listed as a run and drive. Chances are very good. that uh, it's going to be bid on accordingly. And what I mean by that is, instead of people coming out and realizing that it's got a problem that could require a slave cylinder, they're going to bid on it and assume they can just drive it home. And you might, you might, you just might be able to drive it home. Uh, I would be very careful because that clutch is very, 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 very touchy. Uh, oh, see that? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that won't go into gear at all. Hold on. There it goes. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, it could be done. Air conditioning? No, I didn't hear anything. I checked the windows, but they're manual windows. So it does have OnStar, though, which probably doesn't work. This is probably an older analog version of OnStar. Check that AC. I don't think, no. Uh, it's low on coolant, too. Let's rev it up. Sounds good. Got half a tank of gas. And it started right back up. It did, it started right back up, guys. No warning lights on the dash other than low coolant. Okay, well, I put it back in gear. It's got cigarette burns and, you know, I've smelled better. I've also smelled worse, so, you know, no complaints there. Honestly, though, not too shabby of a car. If you could get it cheap enough, I would say this could be a really good deal. For me, though, I don't think I'm going to be interested in this one, so I'm going to walk away. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here, but I want to thank each and every one of you for watching the video, and stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming. Thank you for all the love and support regarding my shoulder and my uncle. Like I said, things have been really rough, but I'm trying not to be depressed, man. You know, you, you could go either way in life, you know, bad things happen, you can get down and out, and you can hate life and hate yourself, and that'll get you nowhere. It'll get you nowhere. Or you can pick yourself up by your bootstraps and go, hey, man, things happen. Life is difficult sometimes. You got to make the best of bad situations. You got to move on. You got to move on. For those of you that don't know, my uncle did pass away um, just a couple days ago. Uh, for me, anyway, it's been a, just a couple days ago, and, and 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 I had a hard time with it. I, I still do, but I'm really trying to look at the positive aspect, which is he's not in pain anymore. You know, he's. Uh, I'm hopeful that he's found grandma and grandpa. He's up there with them. They're all back together again. He can walk. He's not hurting, and that honestly makes me happy. Uh, as long as I can think about those things and think about the good times that we had before he passed. Um, it makes it easier. I'm not going to say it's easy. It's not, but it makes it easier. Life is tough. 
It really is. It's, it's never easy. And we all have to go through our own trials and tribulations. It's really how we deal with those that defines who we are as, as people. And uh, I try to be a good person. I do. And I appreciate all of you for watching, for commenting, for subscribing, for supporting the channel and supporting me through this very difficult time in my life. I can't thank you all enough. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up button, please. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Follow me on Instagram and, of course, this YouTube channel, Auto Auction Rebuilds. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.